Hello everybody, this is Johnny Gamer back for another episode of Dinosaur King, The Awakened Mode. And we got something special planned because we are going to have Seth taking on Spectre. I mean, have I done this before? Probably have, but we're going to do it again. So, give me a sec while I enter all the codes. Alright, let's take on Spectre, shall we? I know, it's been ages since I've actually done an episode of Awakened Mode. It's mainly because I've been doing tournaments and such, and, you know, next mini tournament will be starting next week, so have your say down below. Well, not down below, but in the voting poll that I put in the Wicked Win final video. Um, one more thing. And it has come to my attention on the topic of tournaments that ever since I did my tournament, a lot of other people have been encouraged to do tournaments of theirs ever since I... And I have mentioned this before, saying that I would love it if other people were to do tournaments of their own, just... Because <laughs> they are time-consuming, and I would like to do other stuff as well. And, obviously, I'm sure some of you know about Blood Moon's tournament that's already happening in a minute. Well, someone else has announced their tournament as well. And I'll put it this way. If you enjoyed my last tournament, then you'll love this, because this is basically the same as mine. I mean, there are some slight variations, but they are, it is exactly the same as mine, so... I would re highly recommend you join it. You know, let's make this a really good tournament. I mean, I'll, I'll be entering. Uh, I'll put a link down below of the video thingy if you if you're interested in joining. I mean, don't don't ask me anything. Talk to talk to the host. Talk to the hand. Talk to the host. Okay. Right now, back to the video. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. I mean, they're not going to start until Blood Moon finishes their tournament. And well. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I don't have anything else to say. But yeah, definitely go join their tournament. You know, let's make this, let's make it a really good tournament. Let's make it as big as mine. Of course, it could be an underlying issue where if they start, if their tournament doesn't finish, to, if I get reach a thousand subscribers and um, their tournament's going on in August. But don't worry, I'll still do, I'll still do it. You know, it'd just be tough. <laughs> But no, I'll probably work out something. Anyway, yes, my team with Seth, we are using Black T-Rex and we're using Crowlophosaurus. I was going to use Sorophaganax. I did want to use Sorophaganax, but I thought, you know, these two dinos are more iconic to Seth. Well, that's how I feel anyway. Which means you can't really utilize the tag team stuff because Black T-Rex has no technique and Crowlophosaurus is a secret dinosaur. Ooh, that's a crit right off the bat. And yes, we have Crimson Flame. Ooh, oops, almost forgot to click it then. <laughs> uh, scissor box paper. Uh, scissor... Oh, poop, I missed it. I was, I, I, I'm tired, alright? Give me a break. And of course, he gets Aqua Vortex triggered. Um, I should continue talking about my tournament. I am working out a way to have Deathfire in the tournament. Doesn't that excite you? Ooh, I like throwing out these little hints. Yes, yes, I will be allowing the use of Deathfire in my in my next tournament whenever it happens. Ooh, a shockwave as well. That's a real kick in the balls. <laughs> up, don't know. Um, we're not doing good, are we? Okay, let's, let's just forget about the tournaments and concentrate on the match. So we don't get stomped by Spectre. I wonder which dinosaur is more powerful. Black T-Rex or Bronticles? That's an interesting proposition, because... Obviously... We hear that... Basically, Brontokins is the toughest dinosaur in the franchise, but how would it fare against Black T-Rex? Like, would Spectral Destroy be enough to beat Black T-Rex, or would Black T-Rex's Fire Scorcher be enough to counter it? An interesting proposition. A 
Okay, at least this time he can't use a... Okay, we're dead. Yeah, it didn't do too good there. Okay, we're gonna try again. Don't worry, we're gonna try again. Yes, yes, I know we suck. Try again, try again. Okay, well we know well, we know what Spectre has at this point. He has the Brontokins with the Hydro Cutter, the Aqua Vortex, and Z Ocean Panic. Oh, it's Mega after this. Yeah, the Amargosaurus one really did me in last time. So I'm glad to see Mega after this time. Little ratty thing. Well, little big ratty thing. Yes, I'm start I'm starting with Kralophosaurus this time. And I used the combined card version, which has Seth already in it. Okay, so hopefully we'll have any secret moves? No. Just two. And well, we're gonna find out what that other move is, aren't we? I'm, I'm guessing it's probably something like Attack Boost. Okay, yes. The character card carried over, so we got Black T-Rex. Same moveset as before, except for instead of Firebomb, we have Elemental Power. <laughs> yeah, you're you going down, Spectre Boy. <laughs> You know what's interesting about Set? I I don't I ne I never watched the Japanese version of Dinosaur King, so obviously they censor things in, in the English stuff. Oh, it's Haste. How useful! Yeah, they do censor some things in the English dub, like <laughs> Ace taking a dunk in the toilet or something and pooping on their Rex and book and such, and instead in the English version he just steps on it with his dirty feet because. Ace kind of has a toilet in front of him. You know, being a carnivore and everything. So I wonder if they censored Seth and death in the in the, um, the English dub. Oh, we got a support effect! That's a once in a blue moon thing, we never see it! I am curious. Because we obviously find out in the English dub that he's just injured but alive. He's gonna swap, yeah. But I wonder if in the um, original, he actually dies. Again, I don't watch the original, so I don't know. That would be an interesting proposition. Yes. Oh my god, we killed it in one hit! What the hell? <laughs> that was quick. Wow. Yeah, that just shows how frail. Like, wait, I don't even think we need Black T-Rex. Yeah, that shows how frail Eoraptor is. Like, look at that, it died instantly. And it's not as if Cryolophosaurus has a really good crit, because all of his moves are very balanced. I mean, it's probably the most balanced dinosaur in the game. As are pretty much all the secret dinosaurs. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? We shredded him. Yeah, I think the key to beat Inspector is to kill that Eoraptor as quick as possible. To stop Brontokins from gaining back a crap ton of health. And that's what we did there. So we would, so Brontokins was basically one-shotted. And that is pretty much the reason why we won. Well, Black T-Rex had its time in the spotlight against Gomas, so... You know, we'll give Kralophosaurus some time in the spotlight. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like, and if you're new, unsubscribe, feel free to do so. And this is Stranger Gamer, signing out.